With the aim of strengthening pre-hospital care standards in St. Lucia, the respiratory hospital is undertaking a five-day training with fire personnel and emergency medical services EMS personnel on pre-hospital medical emergency services. The training will provide participants with the knowledge and skills to provide safe pre-hospital critical care of patients. Medical Director of Respiratory Hospital, Dr. Alicia Eugene Ford, says this training is long overdue and will enhance the knowledge of fire personnel and EMS personnel in ensuring safe transfer of patients from the field to the hospital. Um, we are aware that the fire service officers, although they do not fall under the Ministry of Health, we are aware that we need them because they do form part of the healthcare team. You have, they are the ones responsible most times to take the patients from the field where the injury has occurred or where the illness has started and bring them to the hospital. So it is important for us to work alongside them to ensure that when the patients come from the field that they do the necessaries in route. So when the patients come to the hospital, we have a patient that we can work with so that we can get a good clinical outcome. Emergency medical technician, EMT specialist at the respiratory hospital, Craig Herman, says this training is very timely given that we are still managing a COVID-19 pandemic in St. Lucia. With this training, within the period of five days after carnival, so if there is an increase in the number of cases that they are called to respond to, some of the, the, the instructional training that they are now receiving as far as pre-hospital care, pre-hospital uh, guidelines and treatment for COVID-19 patients, that can uh, kick in and reinforce what it is that they actually they're going to be called upon to do with regards to management and transport of you know, any COVID patients. Herman says this training will broaden the skills of the participants in the day-to-day -day duties of providing pre-hospital emergency care to patients. I think it would benefit the, um, the participants greatly actually. Some of them, a lot of the information we covered um, was not things they had previously considered and now that they, they're being um, armed with the information, when they return to their normal duties managing and transporting these patients, there's an increased measure of self-protection as far as um, enhance PPEs, use of PPEs, uh, the appropriate handling of you know um, specific types of patients, such as the patients being nebulized, patients on the positive pre pressure ventilation, as well as patients in cardiac arrest and being transported who may be COVID-19 uh, suspected or COVID-19 positive who may have gone into cardiac arrest. The pre-hospital emergency medical services training focused on pre-hospital care, management of COVID-19 patients, and pre-hospital guidelines to name a few. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Fennel Neptune.